Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's Blender tutorial I'm going to be addressing something that a lot of you might not know about and that is how do you get your cameras to switch in your animation? In other words, how do I as my timeline is playing out here, my animation is rolling, how can there be an automatic switch between cameras? And that's what I'm going to show you. And we're all familiar with the idea of selecting a camera, pressing control zero to go into that specific camera. But in this case, we want that to happen automatically. And I'm going to show you step by step how to do that in this short little blender video, how to switch between cameras on the timeline. So let's do it. So we're in a new scene here in Blender. I'm just going to quickly set up a very simple scene by adding in a plane. Moving up to cube, just so we have something to look at. I might give it a bevel. This doesn't, doesn't really matter because this is not the point. I'm just trying to show you guys what we can do here. So let's grab our camera in the scene. And uh, let's go ahead and go Shift D to duplicate it. So let's move this camera over here, for example. And just so I can see better here, I'm just going to duplicate this little cube and just make one over here. Then I'm going to grab this camera. Now in Blender, if you press zero on the keyboard, it's going to go into your main active camera. And you can actually see if you have two cameras in a scene, this is really important. Whichever camera is your active camera is going to have this little black um, arrow here. So you can see this one has an arrow, but the arrow isn't filled, right? So if I now actually select this camera here that isn't filled, and I go Control zero or Command zero, now all of a sudden it jumps into here. Now you can see this camera now has that little display flag here. So that's important to keep in mind. So you can see here now this one is empty. It doesn't have the black display here. So in Blender, whenever you want to switch cameras, you select a camera and you go Control zero. Now that's all good, but how do we animate that? And that's why you're watching this tutorial. So I'm going to quickly rotate this camera. So we have one perspective over here. And then I'm going to grab this camera, Control zero and I'm going to move this one here. Just so I'm sure that these are two very different views, like so. And now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the first camera we want. So I want this camera over here to be the start an animation. So let's maybe say up until frame 30 we want, or maybe even frame 40. Up until frame 40, from frame 0 to frame 40, we want it to be this camera. So you're going to come here to your timeline, select that camera, and then drag to wherever you want. In this case, it's frame 40. And you're going to press, while you're hovering over here, Control B or Command B. Now it's added a little camera thing here, and that means that it's now locked for this camera. So from here to here, it's going to be um, looking for this camera. Now what we're going to do, we're going to move up one frame. So we're going to now go to 41, and in frame 41, we're going to select our second camera. And now what we're going to do here at frame 41 is we're going to press Control B or Command B, and now you have camera.001 enabled. So now it's going to go uh, switch over at frame 40. So if you go to frame one and we press zero to go into camera view, we can now see it's going to be in this camera view all the way up until frame 40. And at any point, we can now grab the other camera again. And we can come here and maybe we can change it again at 80. Press Control B to add that in. And now it's going to switch back. So we can just kind of go back forth with the cameras like this, cutting through this. And you can add multiple cameras. And if you look into the viewport display, you can see here how these cameras are switching here with these little display flags. So that has been a Blender quick tip. I'm sure this might be handy to a lot of you and I'll see you guys next time for another Blender tutorial.